Hello, yes, our movement abounds with cowards, liars and spies. Let's take the first one, cowards. There are those veteran nationalists and those new to the movement that are still in the once mighty national front. Uh, John, the late great John Tyndall there, God bless you. And there's also one still associated with the once successful British National Party when it was under Nick Griffin, when he had a sensible head on. Sadly, now it's in the hands of the enemy. But anyway, anyway, there are people, veteran nationalists and new nationalists to the movement, who are in those parties. And they know there is something inherently wrong. The worst case scenario, Joe Owens is right, they are indeed led by government spies. At the very least, the second scenario, the very least is the path those parties are taken are wrong. Yet, these veteran nationalists uh, and those new to the movement remain silent, won't ruffle any feathers or rock the boat. Now, all I can think of is that maybe the friend again kicked out of the little social club they're in and the life comes to an abrupt end. They're sitting there then by themselves, twiddling with the keyboard on the computer. I don't know. You tell me. But those veteran nationalists and those new to the movement, whether not in the British National Party or the once mighty National Front under the leadership of the late great John Tyndall, they know, they know something isn't right yet they remain silent. And the only word I can come up with is that the cowards. Now, if you believe I'm being a bit harsh on those you know this video is aimed at, send me a message and I'll do another video and I'll say, listen, maybe I was a bit harsh there, even wrong, but I'm not wrong. Because what other explanation can there be for your silence? If you honestly believe that there's no spies, the path you're taking is the right one, and Joe Owens is talking a load of bollocks on YouTube, then Christ, there is no hope for you. And you're probably wasting your time watching this video, because I know you will. But Joe Owens isn't wrong. Joe Owens is spot on. Let's just say I've got a little bit of it right. Not all the spies, not even half, say a third of them are. Well, that's still a terrible indictment. And the path those once mighty and successful political parties are taking the BMP and the National Front. The very least, the strategies they're taking are wrong and unworkable. Yet you're still silent on that. In fact, you're going along with it. So, I only have, that's the only word I can think of, is cowards. Right? You're all cowards. You must be. Because you know that something is inherently wrong and yet you're silent on it. Shame on you. Then we come to the second one, liars. Let's take Nick Griffin and his reconquista. War of the Cradle, nationalist cadges, political soldier. He knows that that's not wishful thinking or um, a pipe dream like I previously said in other videos. He knows that's lies and deceit. To believe you're going to educate this 1% that's going to have four or six children remain steadfast for 20 years, kids and all, for when the kids are childbearing age and they repeat the Liebensborn program. They continue it. It's that stupid, utopian nonsense that it has to be. He knows he's telling lies. He knows that's not the truth. He knows that can't work. To believe this 1% and their children till they come to childbearing age, let's say 20, are going to remain steadfast for 20 years. And then the next generation continues with the Liebensborn program. It's delusional. And he knows that. All he's doing is selling this new idea that he hopes will cement him in stone in nationalist history as some nationalist prophet. When in reality, we all know you're telling lies. You've abandoned British nationalism here. You, you, you should be ashamed of yourself, but you're not. You're the shameless fucker, as a, once, uh, as a veteran nationalist once said. Anyway, then we come to the last one, spies that are leading our movement down a dead-end road of violent confrontation with an equally 
government controlled Antifa or pushing silly rhetoric that never worked 50 years ago, save the white race, make white strong again or great again, a Angelo John Gage style. Get a traditional wife, you got one yet millennial walls will know. You know, and many other dead end sayings like we must secure the existence and all the rest of the nonsense that hasn't worked for 50 years and never will. Then we have other ones that are pushing Issues that 99% of the public don't care about, halal meat, Sharia law, female genital mutilation and all the rest of the issues that really um, involve just the Muslim community. If they want to chop their bits and bops off with female genital mutilation, lead them to it, right? If they want to kill each other, honour killings, either wives or husbands or whatever, then lead them to it, right? It doesn't affect... 99% of the public and never will halal meat there's a kebab shot in every shopping precinct and, but, and the public the public don't care yes our enemies have got us pursuing these dead end issues that really only affect the Muslim community right we've got to go into our communities and address what affects our people right they're not interested in kebabs and how it's being prepared they're not interested in female genital mutilation because it'll never affect anyone they even know and so on and so on. So that's the spies. So cowards, liars and spies abound in our movement. Okay, thank you.